1995, John Erickson opened his third retirement community under the banner of what would become Erickson Living. For the last 15 years, Oakcrest has provided a home for many seniors here in Parkville, Maryland. 2010 was an opportunity to celebrate the past, enjoy the present, and look forward to the future. Two thousand and ten was a big year for Oakcrest Village, celebrating fifteen years of operation. For our crystal anniversary, the year was littered with events, and everyone had their favorite. For the fifteen-year anniversary, my favorite part was celebrating dinner together with the Pioneer residents and the Pioneer employees in Crestview Station. Jim Davis was here. We looked around and and celebrated together. We toasted each other's fifteen years. I think it's it's a tribute to the quality of life people have here that we could look back on the 15-year history and know that 97 of those original people are still with us today. It was really geared for the pioneers. I mean, the people who built Oakcrest, not only in terms of employees, but the residents who, you know, through the years have given their input, who made this a better place. And as you can see on the banners, you know, at our front gate, it really is a big deal. It was nice to get an opportunity to hear the stories of these resident and staff members that have kind of seen Oakcrest grow over the years. I'd have to say my favorite event was the 15-year video. I just really enjoyed putting it together because there's many years that I missed. I only got here six years ago, so there were nine years that I missed, and being able to pull through all that footage and, and see what happened before I got here was astounding. With 15 years down, our staff have some big plans for Oakcrest in the next 15 years. My biggest hope for Oakcrest in the next 15 years is to prepare for me to move into Oakcrest. I think Oakcrest is in a great position right now, and, and I mean, my biggest hope is probably just that Oakcrest continues to strive and continue to provide residents with outstanding care for the next 15 years. I want to see all kinds of you know advances in technology being taken advantage of all over campus. My biggest hope for Oakcrest in the next 15 years is that we just keep growing with the times. With the new wave of residents that come in, I would hope that they continue to be as involved as they are, um, to be this close-knit Oakcrest family that we are. I would just hope that it would stay the same. I hope in the next 15 years, um, the type of people that we have moving in and working here are the same, and we just can accommodate um, the baby boomers with all of the things that they would like to do and see that we really make a mark in the external community for setting the bar for doing things for others. My biggest hope for Oakcrest is to one day build a statue of Tamika Jacqueline Harris. I think that would be a fantastic contribution and when I think about Oakcrest now and, and look ahead to the future of what it might be and what my hope would be is one, that we're still viable, we're still affordable, that we are still here, that we're still relevant in this community, that we're still giving seniors a place to be and to live and enjoy their, their golden years. Um, but I think, I hope that we're the benchmark, that people look to us, whether it's for dining expertise, whether it's how to build an uh, eco-friendly building, you know, how to integrate technology because the next wave of seniors are going to need that and want that and demand that. So uh, I hope that we evolve, you know, that our model evolves to meet the needs of the future generations where pensions won't be as easily available, you know, Social Security may or may not be, you know, stable, that we as a community continue to innovate and continue to think of new ideas as we have for the first 15 years.